In today's session, I am going to deliver lecture on equilibrium. Basically, we focus on spherical cylinder. Myself, Bipin Patil, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. These are the learning outcomes for today's session. So, at the end of this particular session, learners or students will be able to first one explain the concept of equilibrium. What do you mean by equilibrium? And second, how to calculate the forces present in connected bodies? Let's we discuss the concept of equilibrium. Focus on this particular figure, body showing resultant and equilibrium. Two forces are present on this particular body. The force system is present here. First one force P, second one Q. How to calculate the resultant, resultant of this particular force system? So you just use law of parallelogram and according to that you just try to identify the resultant. So there are different methods. Either you calculate analytically, graphically and mathematically. That is nothing but you just use the formula and you just try to identify this resultant. So equilibrium is applicable to those system of forces whose, whose resultant action is zero. That is E is equal to R. So R is nothing but your resultant, E is nothing but your equilibrium. E is equal to R means see here. By considering this particular P and Q forces, you just try to identify the resultant force that is R. Now the magnitude of this particular resultant, you just calculate it. The same direction means R is present here. So exactly in opposite direction, equilibrium is there. That is nothing but the equilibrium force is there. So line of action is same, same magnitude, but the direction is different. So basically few conditions are present we called as analytical conditions of equilibrium. So the same figure is present here number of forces acting on this particular body. How to identify this particular unknown forces for that we are considering here two laws. First one is force law algebraic sum of forces acting on a body it may be P it may be Q or so on. So just consider the sum of all these particular forces and equate it to zero. This law is called as force law. So here we are considering summation H is equal to zero. That is all horizontal forces are zero. Summation V is equal to zero. That is all vertical forces are zero. Second law moment law means you just consider any one moment center. It may be concurrent forces, non-concurrent forces, the algebraic sum of moment of forces about any point means where you are considering your moment center. So you just equate it to zero. That is nothing but moment law of equilibrium. That is summation m is equal to zero. Few steps we require to identify these particular forces, unknown forces when body is in contact with other body first step identify the contact surfaces okay you just observe this particular figure in your problem statement and identify the contact surfaces step 2 draw the free body diagram by removing contact surfaces means you just identify the contact surfaces and remove that particular contact surfaces and show the reactions in opposite direction step 3 Apply the equations, it may be Lamy's theorem and static equilibrium equations. So these two particular conditions you just apply to identify the unknown values. And last step to find out the unknown forces. Let's we discuss one problem. A sphere of weight 50 kiloton, weight of this particular sphere they are given 
and the radius of this particular sphere they have mentioned 10 cm arrest in a channel shown in figure find the reactions at a point of contact so two contacts are present here one is here number one second one is number two here and the inclination they have mentioned with respect to x axis 60 degree at one side and 30 degree at another one side now my dear friends these are nothing but your two contact surfaces remove that contact surfaces and show the reactions in upward direction so here we are going to apply two conditions one is lamis theorem second one is static equilibrium equation so see here this particular picture is present here this is the free body diagram of this particular picture so you just observe here initially o point that is your center weight it acts in downward direction so i mentioned here r1 first reaction at first contact surface r2 second reaction at second contact surface now see here lamis theorem we are going to apply either all these forces acts the center of this particular point towards the point or away from the point so according to that you just prepare a geomet and this angle is similar to this particular inclination with respect to x axis so r2 30 degree with respect to y axis and r1 60 degree with respect to x axis or now here we are considering with respect to y axis so now you just uh, forward this particular force in this direction r2 you just forward it in forward direction and you just identify this particular angles so x and y coordinate you just consider here x axis y axis according to that you just calculate the remaining angles so see here how to calculate this particular 120 r1 force where just in uh, forwarded in this particular direction r2 force you just forward in this particular direction now how to calculate this 120 degree see here this particular angle is 60 degree now in extend this particular line here so with respect to y axis this angle is 60 degree so with respect to x axis 30 degree is there and from here this is 90 degree so 90 plus this is 30 that is nothing but 120 similarly here 30 you just extend here 60 you just extend here so this angle is 90 degree so already we have calculated here now remaining one 360 degree minus addition of these two it gives you remaining value so this is the correct free body diagram by considering this particular geometry now apply lamis theorem in lamis theorem you just consider this force and the angle between remaining these two forces sine of angle between remaining two forces so opposite this particular direction you just consider it so first one r1 and sine of this particular angle 150 r2 sine 120 is there and weight w1 sine 90 is present here now consider the weight of this particular this geometry they have mentioned here 50 so we just put the value r1 sine 150 w1 sine 90 so r1 and you just consider here w1 so w1 they have mentioned 50 put the value of w1 here and calculate the value of r1 so r1 it comes 25 kiloton that is your equation number one similarly consider second w1 upon sin 90 equated to r2 sin 120 put the value of w1 calculate the value of r2 that is 43.30 kiloton so let's check these particular values do the calculations now my dear friends we just pause this particular video and try to give the answer of this particular question this is the answer of this particular question to prepare this particular session I referred these particular references thank you